Father, no doubt. Are you sure of this? I will say what Run needs up, to be said. You fear his rebuke? Oh no. I crave it. It may be the old hound has lost his bark. But maybe you will light a fire beneath him, inspire him with tales of our glory. If I do, I'll stoke that flame until it burns. Dock the ship here. What was it Randy said? Our father spends his days in the meat halls and his nights on barren planks of wood. That's right. We'll serve the meat halls. I remember one nearby. A sad hole where men soak their unhappiness. We should look there. And come empty-handed. Not even a gift to offer. Rats don't appreciate gifts. They sniff and lick them without care. You are chipper, brother. <laughs> what do you see? He never leaves. From sun up to sundown, he just sits there, staring into his horse. Once, just once, I'd have him. We should go. Look at him. Father. Odin's blessing, come and let me look at you Stop. both. That is far enough. Blood of cheer. What happened there? A grievous wound you have. Are you well? Far better than I look, I assure you. This... this calls for a toast. Your journey must have been long and cold. A drink to warm your blood. We are not here to drink or make merry. Only to look upon the rackets of a once great man. And then what? Make new war against King Harald? Stake a claim on his crown? Is that your wish? To sow more chaos here? <laughs> You're absurd, old man. What could possibly interest me in this frozen backwater? I heard rumors that England was infested with kings already. I thought maybe... Maybe you would return here to... Uh... I have cast aside all dreams of kingship, father. A much greater end lies in wait for me. <laughs> I have returned for one reason only. To say goodbye. And to thank you for your colossal failure. Failure? As a father, as a king, as a man. For without it, I would not have discovered my true self. My failure, as you call it. 
My oath to King Harald was the only sensible path forward for a man in my situation. It was your right to pledge your crown to another. And I know you did what you thought best for the safety of our clan. As Harald's forces advanced, I knew we did not have the strength to oppose him. We were too disorganized, too weak. With the sun ever absent, always off raiding in some far-flung land, never concerned with the duties of kingship. What choice did I have but to pledge my allegiance to him? A man with ambition and an army to match it. Absent? I acted only as the son of a king must, to earn you riches, to bring you glory, to praise your name. The people of Constantinople had no use for my name, Sigurd. I needed you here. Listen to this weeping old goat. I wish you whatever peace you may find in this new life you have found. I did not find it, Eivor. I chose it. The only way forward that did not lead to more violence and death and grief, your father would have understood. He died to avoid a similar fate, to save his family at the cost of his reputation. No. My father, he... he was... He loved you. That is all. Argon nonsense. I've heard enough. Sigurd, from the day you were born, I wanted nothing more than to pass on my title, my land, my people, to you. But one year is never like another, and with the passage of time, certain truths appeared, unavoidable. Ours was the last kingdom in Norway to resist Harald's advance. To oppose him would have been our death. You do not know that. We could have fought back. We could have, yes. And suffered countless deaths for no other reason than to protect our pride. We will never know the truth. Because you were too afraid to risk it. Look after him, Eivor. And if you have the chance, lead him back from the edge of the abyss. He's my brother, not my dog. Be well, old man, and serve your king with honor. This sad business is finished. Good riddance. And now we sail for further shores, to my true purpose, to my destiny, to the end of my road. I will follow you as far as you wish in this world, brother. But if you mean to take us further, I may reconsider. I do not think you will, Eivor. I think you will marvel at what I have to show you. Still dwelling on your father? Not at all. I was only reflecting on my visions, wondering at them, how present they are, like memories of yesterday. We have come a long, long way in search of a hazy vision, Sigurd. Be careful. Good Eivor. I would not lead you blindly into the unknown. Have faith that what I know is true, and where we go is real. You should know, you are not alone in this. I too have had visions. Have you? And what did they foretell? It is hard to say. I've seen Odin leading me into shadows. I've seen spinners weaving wild destinies from pools of blood. I saw the great beast Fenrir, the branches of the world tree, and a man with... Go on. 
Valka warned me of a great betrayal. But what form it takes, I cannot say. I see. I hold to my oath, Sigurd. You know that. Betrayal is not in my nature. Of course not. You are a stalwart as a pillar of stone. Come now. My destiny awaits. Let the sun The daughters of Aegir bless our passage. Yes. I feel a great calm as we cross these waves. This ordeal with the elf king, Alfred. How far have you pushed him? Does he bend? Will he break? Luthrum's army will be chasing him across Wessex now. With luck, he will push Alfred into the sea. Strange how these earthly concerns seem so distant. Oh, to me. We've gained so much in England, and we stand to win even more. The Christians are hardy folks. They see one man above who holds the axe. One man higher than us all. That is a powerful fuel. We hold our own axe. We swing it where we may. The woman, Fulke. In my time with her, as painful as it was, she showed me things. Things so strange and wonderful. We need to row our way out. I was grateful for her treachery. What she did to you was cruel beyond measure. Every snap of the flame. Run up the sail! The loss of my arm. My visions grew stronger. If you can find the good in that, fine. She was as mad as the ocean is wide. Even the mad ones can offer wisdom. Their Jesus was an odd fellow. Now half the known world loves him, and no one... Chiseled our plans onto tables in meat halls. Not even my father. There is the secret I know well. Can we not return to England and finish together what we began? No, forget all that. The future is forward. A great wealth awaits us. I'm with you, brother. Until the end. I'm with you, brother. Until the end. A white rage stands in our way. Keep moving forward! Do you know the way? As I know my own mind! We will cut through this winter sheet like swords through straw! Do not worry! To Paris on a lonely fjord! We'd be the shame of our clan! Ha! That we would!
Yes! Yes, this feels familiar! Eivor, we will press on! The rest of you, wait here! of snow. Sigurd, can we not wait for this to pass? Ah, oh, the sting of ice on skin. Revel in this, Eivor. We walk the footpath of the gods. To where? More glaciers and deserts of snow. To glory! Could we not wait until this tempest quiets down? With a ship, where we have mead and food to warm us. No, we must confront the omens and honor the gods. They will not seek or find you! We must go to them! We would be poor company, with frozen bones and ice pellets for ice. You need not fear the cold, Eivor. Where we are going, the winds and snows cannot touch. cold as wind from Niflheim. Keep steady! It should not be far now! Fingers. I hope so. There. The frozen lake. This must be it. And ahead lies a cavern. Will you not say where this leads? You will see soon enough. I'm too late to turn back, I fear. There! The cave! Within hides the sacred gate! The ice looks fragile. This is it.
Have you seen this before? In the space above. The Sarka Stone sat there, did it not? Long, long ago, yes. Now stand clear. Svakhoi nogvat uns membro trurvondi gvorde, uns solas vras gnogadide, uns um hukas reis derae chasaunsi. How did you do this? Where did you learn these words? I told you, Eivor. My visions are memories of a life once lived. Come, gods. What is this place? Over here, this plate will lead us onward. How oh, are I see? Trust this place, Eivor. This old and sacred place. Where does it lead? To the Hall of the Slain and the Golden Fields. To Valhalla. This vessel, was it crafted by dwarves? It is finely made. That much is true. I doubt Gunnar could hammer a piece any finer. In this cavern? So deep and humming with magic. There, the old tree, the tree of life. What is this? See how proudly she sits, how beautiful she gleams. Here, all the roots of life run together. The skulls would cry to behold such a sight. And there is more to come. I swear by all the names of the Old Father, this is only a taste of what I have in store for you. For my visions go further, to Odin's great hall. There. Do you feel that? The sacred energies. I have never seen something so grand. This shrine is ours. It will open for us. Watch and see for yourself. How do you know these things? Was all this in your vision? All this and more. Yes, it is returning to me now. This ancient shrine is set alight by the sphere of metal. And these shining arms, these branches, they will grant us access to the refuse of the gods, to Valhalla. Are you ready? Sigurd, take great care. We should not tinker with the tools of the gods. You speak for yourself, Eivor, for I am no mortal. I see that now. I know it. Take your place at the center there, 
and you will see. What is this place? you would come. Welcome. Are you... Are you Valka's mother? Swala? You have a keen eye, Wolfkist. After all this time, Eivor, we have arrived. Now raise a horn with Freya here and sing a victory song. Sigurd, what is all this? Your, your arm has returned, and your vicar as well. Glory eternal, Eivor. Here we dine in the great hall of the slain, at long last. Oh, I want to scream with joy. This is... this is all so... beautiful. Your visions were... they were real. The battle has closed! Come, dear! To the field! Fight with us! Go, Eivor. Enjoy the fight. You have earned your place here. This is incredible! Enough with those short flies! You and I must fight! The battle we never had! And hold nothing back, for here we need not fear a thing! Spill the 
eternal lord of Valhalla. And at last, I share the death of infinite battle. Brother? Worry not, Aver. <laughs> For we earn no scars here, only battle wisdom. What just happened? Let my lips with another horde of mean, brother. Sigurd, your arm has grown back. It was never gone, Eivor. Not truly. Nothing is permanent here. I told you. Nothing save the courage and reputation of its warriors. Are we immortal in this place? <laughs> Let us discover that together. A new day. Tomorrow's bed. Again, you've lost your arm. And again, it will. Oh, father, is that you? That cannot have been my father. Turns to lead us to victory. 
go! Skull! Take your horn. Join the battle cheer. Dearest Skull, the war and verse. How do you like this frenzy so far? It is... It is quite something. Raise your horn, Eivor. What stops you? My father, Varin. Have you seen him in this hall? I have not. Should he be here? No, he died a coward. Yet by Odin's eye, I swear I've seen him. Cast aside your cares in Valhalla. Let seeking go. We have earned our joy. The journey is complete. This fucking arm, I'll beat a man to death with it. Do you not tire of his injuries? Never. Wait. Father? Eivor, you have a guest. You should have knocked first. Nonsense! I brought you someone. Look! My Eivor! There you are! What a warrior you have made of yourself! I am overfilled with pride. How did you find your way here? You remember our great battle? You remember how we fought, side by side, with your mother and Sigurd and our clans united? We fought, father, but you did not. You died a coward. Eivor, enjoy this. Your father has returned. Ha! Ah! Have you lost all your love for life? That was not my father. That was a lie. That was not a lie. That was my gift to you. I have power here, and I can do as I please. You wished to see your father. I made it happen. As easy as breathing. By Odin's laws, my father is not allowed in this place. I do not wish to see him where he should not be. 
Your father died doing what he hoped would save you. He died to protect you and his clan. No. He... This is the end of our road, Eivor. This is Valhalla, the eternal golden field. Now come. Battle beckons. How is all this possible? How were the slain brought here? The Valkyries know this. Only them. No. That cannot be true. None of this feels right. Do not despair, Eivor. Look. Your friends are here. Everyone you could ever want is here beside you. No. They are not real. This place can be whatever you wish it to be, Eivor. I do not want it. Not like this. You would resign yourself to an empty death? The ecstasy I feel here is an illusion. I would sooner call like a raven than sing a false song. Illusion or not, here there is no death, no pain, no loss, no betrayal. Not like out there. You want this? To live inside a lie. I am an old woman with a broken body. What life I had left was brief. So I bid farewell to my dear Volka. And came here. I wish you well, Swala. But this is not for me. I must find Sigurd. Your worm food! The arm! The arm! Always the fucking arm! Sigurd, this is an illusion. A trick. Leave with me now, and return to England with me. Our people need us. No. I am no one in that world. I am somebody here. Powerful. Capable. A god. Here I may live forever. Here I cannot die. Cows die. Family die. You must die. The only thing that never dies is the reputation of the one who's died. In here, you have no reputation. But out there, it's not too late. Every day, the same empty war. The same hollow victory. Spilling blood that tastes of water and smells of grass. You have known real battle. Real glory. But this is not it. You know this. I know you do. Brother, it is time to leave. Am I destined to follow you everywhere? Till the end of my life? All right. 
we go. No, you stay. I do not give you leave to go. Why leave this place? A glory you fought so hard to find. Humbled to walk with you, Eivor. Your reputation is a song warriors will sing forever. You are the wolf-kissed one, who lingered at the edge of death, yet fought back. Built the raven wine of battle to paint whole kingdoms red. You have killed kings and crowned them as you desired, bowing to none. You stood tall where your brother stumbled, yet still you came to his aid. You have felled many great foes in your brief time. You have earned your place here, Eivor. Seize it. Stand aside. My people need me. I have given you everything you wanted. Everything you needed. You gave me nothing. It was all me. Yet I cleared your path. I guided your axe. You were a fly, buzzing in my ear. How dare you deny me? Everything you believe in stirs before you. Yet, you question all. You question the very gods. Ah! Fight me. Do not diminish yourself. Your corpse hall is nothing but a dream. Nothing but a dream. A dream is as real as anything in this world. not inspire? Do dreams not make us fearful? Do they not push men to their greatest glories? Then I am done with dreaming.
are a leader of Ainheria! Fight upon my command!
Becker's bastard! Stand and face me, you feeble down thrall! Sigurd! Ah, the Hanged One awakes. Feet upon the ground once more. Eivor, be careful! Pass him? What is this? Come closer, Eivor. Let me get a better look at you. Leave him be, Basim. For too long I stared at the sun. It blinded me to the truth. That it was you. It was you I wanted all along. Did you track us here? Like a cowardly fox concealed in the brush? You widowed my destiny, Wolfkist! You broke all my hopes! He's mad, Eivor! Silence him! Come, Eivor! Come save your crippled prince of dead races! <coughs> ah! <coughs> 